I am the ghost of Christmas future. And I'm not here to bear good tidings. I'm here to scare you. I wanted to make this video real quick. Um, something that's been speaking to my heart that I wanted to talk to people about. I was in the Navy from 2011 to 2015, and I hated it. I counted down the days until I got out, literally counted down the seconds until I got out. And then a few months before I got out, I believe it was after my third deployment, I went to go see a movie by myself on the weekend. They had it playing on the base theater. And as usual, it was just me to go see a movie. I texted a buddy of mine if he was interested in going to see it. He messaged back, he wasn't. Some of my friends, as much as I love them in the Navy, they drank a lot. What do you do usually in the Navy on the weekend? So I went to go see this movie myself, being a movie buff that I am. After I watched the movie, I was intrigued. It wasn't the greatest movie in the world, but I was still intrigued about it. And I had never heard of this person on who the movie was made about. After I watched the movie, I sought out the book, which wasn't hard because, I mean, it's a very popular book. And after I read the book, or while I was reading the book, actually, I had an epiphany. And it wasn't just a thought. It was an epiphany. It was a coalition of all my life coming to a singular moment that I wanted to be a Navy SEAL. That I knew that my destiny was to be a Navy SEAL. Everything in my life, everything had led to that moment. It really had. And I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I can make every excuse in the world and I can make every excuse under the sun, but I didn't do it because I was afraid. I was afraid. And I didn't even give myself the chance to do it. And I remember whenever I was sitting in my CEO's office, He's a great guy. I could say his name, but I, I don't know if that would be appropriate or not. But he was like Clint Eastwood meets Mr. Rogers. I mean, he was just the most kind person you ever met in your life, but he was also like a badass. And I remember sitting in front of him and he said, what are your next plans? What do you want to do? I was almost embarrassed of what I had come to realize because it, especially at the time, it seemed like such a huge thing. And there was my dream sitting in my heart and I didn't say anything. Years have gone by since I've gotten out of the Navy and it has not been a pretty 10 years since I've gotten out of the Navy. I've slept in vehicles. I've done things that I'm not proud of. It's what happens when you don't pay the price to follow your dreams. As they say in the Bible, the wages of sin are death. And that is what happens when you decide that you're not gonna follow whatever it is that you believe in or faith or whatever you wanna call it. And you wanna live in the devil's delusion, which is fear. And he's more than happy to welcome you into his kingdom. This is not a motivational video to show you who I am you know, here's my success story. I did it. You can do it too. Go and do it. This is the moral story. I am Christmas future. You're doomed. If you do not follow your fear, if you do not follow your dream, if you do not follow your passion, if you do not do things that scare you, this is my van. I sleep in this van. That blue thing on the floor was my mattress. Got an air hole in it. So it's been deflated for a few months. Um, it's October, it's getting cold. I don't say this stuff to you to make you feel sorry for me. I say this to you as a warning. You as a warning of what not to be. Do not end up like me. Do not as cliche as it sounds, let your dreams be dreams. Don't fold under pressure. Now there's a caveat to this. I'm not simply saying, go be a Navy SEAL. 
I'm saying try. Attempt. Speak the word. Stand out. Say something. When the moment is given to you, say something. I watched, um... <clears throat> I watched one of these videos. It was, um... Denzel Washington, he was speaking. I'm sure the guy has given thousands of speeches. But this particular one, he was saying, um... On your deathbed, all of your dreams are going to be standing around you. And they're going to be saying, We came to you. We came to you. We were here for you. For you to bring us into the world. And now we have to go to the grave with you. Try. Just attempt it. Do what you gotta do. It's terrifying. There's no getting around it, but I'll share a secret with you. The most of your fears are just in your head. Now, what does that mean? It means that there is a cataclysmic difference between reality and what happens in your mind. All you have to do is take the first step. And then you take the next step. I don't mean to oversimplify this because you could use this for anything that you're doing. It doesn't matter if you want to be a Navy SEAL or whatever it is that you want to do. And I'm not simplifying the process saying that it won't be scary or it won't be hard. But there is a difference between the fear that you feel right now, which lives and exists only in your head, and reality. If you continue on this path that you're on, you're doomed. 